Good morning, I'm Mrs. Perrin from Bearsy Library, and today we read an adventurous story of a little polar bear and what he saw when he left his den at night. And so right now we're gonna make a little polar bear cub craft. So let me angle this camera down so you could see what we're doing and how to put this together. <clears throat> okay, if you have a piece of blue, or any color actually for the background. I used a light blue, dark blue. We need washable paint, a fork, um, a marker for his smile. You'll see we need black for his eyes, his nose, and gray for his muzzle. And then we have some scraps of white cardstock or construction paper for his ears. You have scissors. And if you're not allowed to use scissors, I'm sure there's an adult with you that can help. We have some tacky glue, or you can use school glue or some other kind of white glue. So let's get started. In the very center of your background paper, <clears throat> we're gonna put a nice big blob of, um, of our paint. This is washable paint, washable white paint, and this is gonna make a, a good background for his fuzzy little head. So there we go, here's the fun part now. You're gonna take your fork and start spreading it around. So if you just start in the center and pull it out. I put this construction paper on a piece of, of paper towel, which helps it so when I'm spinning, you're just gonna go from the center out, the center out, and see we're pulling it out further and further so we can make the head of this little polar bear. So here. We'll put some more down towards the bottom and some out at the edges. So you want to make it, well, you can make him a small face if you want, but it's fun to have it. you got all this paint, you might as well bring it as far out to the edge as possible. So you start again at the center with that big blob. And here, look at this. We are getting a nice big fuzzy head for this baby polar bear. So I like to have some fuzz out at the sides like his fur is real furry for the winter time. Look at that. So once we finish and get to where we like it, we're just going to put it aside while we cut out our pieces for his face. So look at that came out so good. That's the way um, I'm making mine and you can do the same thing or use your imagination on how you want his little face. So we'll put that aside <clears throat> and get our pieces to cut out. Like I showed you, he's got a black nose, two black eyes, his little gray muzzle, you see his white and gray ears. So let's cut out those pieces now. So we're good at circles, but if you can't use scissors, I'm sure there's somebody with you that can help and you can do the gluing. So we're gonna, I folded a piece of paper in half so we can cut out two eyes at the same time. And the little bears have bright black eyes. So here's our two eyes. And then he needs his little muzzle there. Move this a little closer so you can see the pieces that I already cut out for the, our little bear. <clears throat> so he needs a little muzzle little gray muzzle, but if you have brown, you can use brown, um, whatever colors that you like. So it's not exactly a circle, it's kind of an oval, which is a squished down circle. So we cut it around and around and around and make an oval. Here's our oval. Now that oval needs a little um, nose on it, a little black nose like our little black nose here. So I got another piece of black paper or cardstock or construction paper and I'm going to cut out a little nose. Again, this isn't exactly round. It's not exactly oval, but it just looks like a bare nose. So whatever you cut out is fine. It's a little bit oval, isn't it? So that's what's going to go on. I'm going to glue onto here. It's good to cut out all the pieces, or I like to do that at least, and then glue them all together and put them on. Plus it gives it time for this to dry a little bit. 
So now we have the insides of his little white ears and the outside of his ears. So let's cut out the ears first. I just have two pieces of cardstock because I happen to have two the same size. And I'll just put them together so I can cut out the ears at the same time. Or you could just fold over a piece of, of white paper or white cardstock or white construction paper. And we're going to make some nice big ears so he can hear what's going on. So see that little ear shape I cut out here? And I got two. So then I'll put those right here. And we're going to do the inside of the ears. It's the same shape, just smaller, with gray. So we go up and around. There's flat on the bottom. And I folded this piece of gray in half. So I can make these inside ears, and those will go on here. So do we have everything we need for our little bear? I think so. <clears throat> so let's glue the two pieces of ears together. Let's glue his nose on. All right. So we're going to put glue on this inner ear and on this inner ear and kind of line them up to put on the white that we already cut out too, his outer ear. So then it kind of gets lined up with the bottom and pat them down and let's get his nose together. Here's his little nose and we'll put it on his muzzle, kind of towards the top because we could put his smile on the bottom half of this oval. <clears throat> now he needs two eyes. It's going to take a little while for your paint to dry, but you can put these pieces together in the meantime and put them on top. So I think what I'm going to do now is turn them over and put glue on the back of the ears. Let's do that. I'll put them over here so you can see it a little better. It looked like it kind of shined out there, didn't it? So put glue on the back of this one, put glue on the back of this one, and we got his eyes all ready for glue too. So we'll put his ears on. They kind of go off to the side here and push them down into the paint. Okay, you're still going to have to get to let this paint dry. So here's his two little black eyes, and we'll put those on here. And now his muzzle is almost ready. But what we're going to do now is take our marker and give him a little muzzly smile. Our adventurous little bear that likes going out into the Arctic ice to see what he could see. And he saw walrus and seals, and he saw sleeping whales. So here's his little muzzle with his smile, and we'll turn that over and put glue on the back. And get this on here, and our painting with this pretty white polar bear is almost ready. Try not to smudge anything when you pat it down lightly. Pat, pat, pat. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. There we go. We've got our polar bear that we did today. You can make several of these and give them to friends. Just keep putting them aside until they dry. So here's our two polar bears. One I made earlier and one I just made now with you. So I hope you enjoyed that craft time and you have a good week. I'll see you next story time. Bye-bye.